Okay. This is it. This is a 360 view. Up to the building. Right in front of you. Okay. Entrance. You get the sign right there. Sign. Harry T. Moore sign. The sign's on there. Yeah. Welcome for your signing. Yeah. <laughs> we show you different areas of New York. Well, in Florida, where they vote, how it looks when they vote. Because you can see here and here, where it's registered to vote, and you see they look, you know, at night. Mm -hmm. like I just want to see what you're saying. But the only people who are going to vote, and then you can see people in the North area of Florida, they're going to vote, and you can see that they're bringing the apple. In a public school setting, and this one was actually done at the same time that we did um, um, Brown versus the Board of Education. However, it was for the um, DC area because the DC area is just ran solely on the Constitution because it's the District of Columbia, and so they had to do a separate case, and it was heard around the same time as um, Brown versus the Board of Education, and it actually the the seventh the um, it came out the same day, but it was overshadowed by Brown versus the Board of Education because it was for a national, and this was only for this DC district. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, and uh, this one, which is in Florida, has to do with does a school have the right to um, censor a newspaper, censor mm -hmm. a newspaper even if it's distributed throughout the community. So these are all important court cases that has to. And this is our board. So we have a, this board here, which is the start of the board. They were the ones who were affected the people who got all of the money that were able to build. This is the board's daughter. Mm -hmm. She passed away in, 2000, in October of 2015. Oh, and then we have, this is what the board has morphed into, and that's what our, uh, this is our current board now. So, was it, is it? So this is Moore. Um, his wife had family. He, uh, Mr. Moore was an only child, so they did have family, but he was an only child. And so um, they, um, his two daughters that he had, one lived in Old Kappa and one lived in Maryland. The oldest daughter didn't have any children, but she married into the prominent Hampton family. The youngest daughter, she had one son, and then that one son has one son, and they live uh, in the uh, American area, the DC area. We visited here a while, I don't even know what year, with Star 94.5, and at that time, there was one of his daughters that was here to see yes, the that opening. Was, oh, that was her. To see yes, the opening of the house, I yes, believe. Yeah, she died in Ooh. October of 2015. Wow. So this is her picture right here. Uh, we think this is the same artist and we think that did this painting that did her painting oh. too. So we wanted to make sure wow. we always keep her 
alive here too because if it wasn't for her, we wouldn't have known everything that had happened and occurred during the time of the bombing and oh, after man. the bombing. Because she was the one who came home on the train to find out all of this had happened. Okay. And that's why she was so devastated because she came home thinking she was going to celebrate Christmas with her family and then she found out that her father was dead and her mother was gravely mm -hmm. ill, injured by the um, bombing and then she ends up dying one day after um, she returned because she attends her father's funeral nine days after the bombing, a day after attending the funeral, she died. So, oh, oh, died. Wow. So, yeah. So, both of the parents end up dying and the children end up you know, not really talking about it mm -hmm. at all. to you and family profile. 1981? 1960. Mom was born in 62. Diploma. Wow. See, with the tour and they telling you the stories, you really be touched. This, this had me so emotional when we went. That's mostly... And double ACP, great night. Second trial, Groveland defense. They, Groveland, that's that um, trial, Thurmond, uh, Thurgood Marshall defended Walter Irvin in his second trial concerning the Groveland case. Irvin was convicted for the second time and sentenced to death. Uh, If Harry T. Moore was wrong in his beliefs and his actions, then there is no America. And all the things we dream, all the things we dream and all the dreams we preach have no meaning, not only for Harry T. Moore's people, but for the people within our borders or elsewhere in the world. For the killer, for the killer of Harry T. Moore is the assassin of the democratic ideal that Harry T. Moore may vindicate and be may vindicate in death those principles and practices he sought after in life. Whew. I have endeavored to help the Negro race okay, made my life on the altar. Heard around the world the stillness of Christmas night, 1951, shattered by a blast. Whew. And he looked young. You see how long, young he looked? He looked almost like no one saw him. Wasn't even that old. <laughs> Historical precinct, Register right Beach. Huh? I can't see what that says. Splinter and wood from the from oh, the bomb. Oh. 1951. Mysterious shooting. Morris loses NAACP job. Oh, it's taking you in a timeline. So I think we went backwards. Because that's 1960. We were supposed to go the opposite way. The Groveland case. Under fire, first trial. Groveland four, charged and arrested, executed under 9551. NAACP membership peak and falls. Oh, yeah. Mary McLeod Bethune Medallion Award. From that college? 
Yeah, she started. Well, she started it with this other guy. I can't remember his name now. Bethune. Maybe we'll go there. Y'all want to go to Daytona and visit Bethune Memorial? That's Jackie Robinson, the right of every American to first class citizenship is the most important issue of our time. Robinson plays April 10th, 1947. White primary bill. Since the 1920s, African Americans in Southern states have been excluded from voting in Democratic Party primaries by defining political parties as private clubs that had the right to exclude anyone from voting in their private primaries. Democratic Party primaries were important elections in the South, so African Americans were effectively disenfranchised. So a lot of this is still affecting us now. It's not like it just went away and we all just picked up the pieces and went on. This is kind of why we're we're behind. Just like they said, what's his name? Trump is one of those groups. More moves on the state. More moves on to state. June 28, 1946, Harry T. Moore was elected. Executive Secretary of the Florida State Conference of NAACP. Where you see that? Yes, I don't see nothing. Where? Keep it in position. That's a June 6th, so who blind? June 6th. The Moors lose teaching jobs. At the end of the school year, Harry and Harriet Moore were not offered teaching contracts for the next school year. However, the official personnel record stated resigned June 7, 1946. Moore had been previously warned by Brevard County superintendent to cease his political activities. Oh, so they fired him because of him trying to get people voting. Mm -hmm. They fired both of them. They were teachers. Harry T. Moore, from the earth his voice cries, no bomb can kill the dream. I hope for freedom never dies. Wow. I'm getting chill bumps, chill bumps. Moore protested and investigated Florida lynchings. Cello Harris. Florida, Harry T. Moore wrote a letter to protest the governor, Spencer Holland, as also personally investigated the legend of Willie James Howard on March 1944. Moore took affidavits from Howard's family. Smith versus All Rights decision. A man was lynched yesterday. Congress of Racial Equality formed. Executive Order 8802, after a Philip Randolph threatened to march on Washington to protest of the lack of jobs for blacks during the war, President Roosevelt issued Executive Order 8802. The order prohibited racial discrimination in war-related industries. Randolph called off the march and was the first executive order on race since the Emancipation Proclamation. The killers took his life, blew his home to pieces, and killed his faithful wife, Harriet Moore. Dead was Harriet Harry T. Moore, head of Florida's NAACP. Dying was his wife, Harriet. Gilbert Sweet fails. More fights to equalize teachers' salaries. Board of Public Instruction of Brevard County, Florida. Thank you. Where? Who? Oh. Gibbs versus Board of Education, Montgomery County, Maryland, 1936. See, we're working backwards. We came in the room on the wrong side. We were supposed to start there and take the timeline around. 
the young educated grove worker by the name of Crandall Warren received a packet of NAACP membership materials that he had requested by mail. His mother had belonged to the NAACP when it was first organized in 1909 and had suggested that suggested that he inquire about the organization. This was some time in 1933 when Warren read some of the pamphlets he thought the ideas were too progressive for a young black man in a small town, so he decided to get rid of them. Being associated with the NAACP in the 1933 in 1933 was enough to get you killed. He took the pamphlets to his cousin and husband, who was a teacher and might be interested. He spread them out over the dining room table, slowly absorbing their contents. And then he looked up at Warren and smiled and said, this is what I've been looking for. Harry T. Moore had been waiting for this moment. He felt it was the right time for him to be involved and his first issue would be education. He would soon fight many issues he never thought he would get involved in. The Scottsboro Brothers. Police arrested nine black teenage boys for barring two white women near Scottsboro, Alabama. Eight of the young men received death sentences in a case that would have both legally and politically ramifications, which both would have legal and, and political ramifications. Okoe, Okoe Byrne, 1920, in this small black community near Orlando, Florida. I never knew that the, until we went on that trip, that Okoe, no, this was way before, this was way before. Florida, a white mob went on a week-long rampage, burning 30 homes, two churches, killing 35 blacks and two whites. After this violent act of terror, blacks did not live in the town of Okoe for nearly 30 years. And then we moved there soon after. And then I was the only black child soon after. No. For 30 so, years, that was 60s. The they said on that little thing, it ain't really about the math. On the little documentary that was about that, they said people started moving back to Okoe in the 70s, but we moved towards the 80s. A lot of people The lake. Negro. Commencement, Bethune Cookman University. Cookman University, Harry T. Moore. Oh, that's degree. That's where they went to Bethune Cookman University. These are his awards that he received from the school. Oh, wow. Man. So he went to college in Daytona. Okay colored waiting room. Wow, that's a colored waiting room. I guess colors have to wait a little longer than others. Booker T. Washington's speech at the Atlanta Exposition. There is no defense or security for any of us except in the highest intelligence and development of all. If anywhere there are efforts tending to curtail the fullest growth of the Negro. Um, if any, there are efforts tending to curtail the fullest growth of the Negro, let these efforts be turned into simulation, stimulation, I'm sorry, encouraging and making him the most useful and intelligent citizen. Efforts or means so invest will pay. Yeah, I've seen that colored waiting room. <laughs> will pay a thousand percent interest. These efforts will be twice blessed, bless him, he and him that takes. That looks like Michael Jackson or um, Janet Jackson at the top, Ida B. Wells. He always says she looks like me, but he looks like him. Oh, colored. And he looks like, um, 
That's the drinking fountain. You see the difference in how they made the white fountain. The and the United, the U.S. Constitution, which grants, which grants equality to all men under the law, is our ally to fight for civil rights. The Emancipation Proclamation, January 1st, 1863. I am not a man and a brother. This is the image of the supplicant slave was circulated by the anti-slavery men and women in the United States and originally adopted as the seal of abolition society of england his appeal here to heaven the humanity humanity is amplified in the verse of the quaker poet anti-slavery advocate john greenleaf whitaker taken in part from his poem entitled countrymen chains what mothers of their children riven what god's own image bought and sold american and market driven the bart and bart and bartered and brute for gold the hair the harry t moore legacy leading the way towards civil rights freedom is not free i always said that freedom may never be free and neither has justice and equality yes freedom is not free if we want our complete emancipation, we must be willing to pay the price. Harry T. Moore, December 1951. A lot of them chains was just, you know, made into prison chains. I am not a man and brother. Who? Slave anchor, very rare. Pre-Civil War era chain was run through center chain link, was adjusted to slaves' work area. Chain was shackled and locked to the slave's leg. So this is what the slave had to put on their leg, that they put on the slave's leg, chaining them down as they work. You can touch this. I don't know if you're supposed to touch it. And that is heavy. Oh gosh, you can't even push it. And they want and you're supposed to work with that. Titusville Star Advocate. Funeral service of the late Harry. Looks like Vita Moore. Wow, this is their Oh, Harriet, this is her, um, I'm sorry. This is her obituary, and then this is his obituary. Oh boy, y'all, this is a lot to take in. Whew. Harriet's bean pot, bottles. Person said the moonshine, Bethune Cooking College. Oh, the Harry T. Moore's pen, wallet pen. Whew. Ballot. This exhibit, through the use of a timeline, gives an abbreviation sketch of the development of civil rights African Americans in the United States. It begins with the Emancipation Proclamation and the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendments to the U.S. Constitution, which laid the foundation for civil rights laws that followed. Oh. Wow. Well, what was down there? Oh, these are pictures of him. This is very touching. You got Martin Luther King. You got Bob Marley. Oh, because I'm here. 
Christmas tree because they were killed right around Christmas. A painting of them up there, right there, the gift shop there. Wow, very touching. Let's go see the house before it rains. Memorial site. Here, are you still low? Oh. You gotta stop. Don't push her too fast. I, I, I'm trying to walk. Y'all trying to kill me. I'm trying to get home. Wow. Whew. This is definitely <laughs> worth the trip. We got a gazebo over there. There we go. You took the Latina with Daddy. In memory of Harry T. and Harriet V. Moore. Kristen, you okay? Yeah, we're going to the house. Which one is the house? Right here. This is the house. Over there? Right here. No, that's what I'm saying, bro. Oh, that is beautiful. You can push it off the sidewalk, off the beaten path. Oh, I want to see the fountain afterward. Oh, I like oh you know, Jarrell like that. Yeah, fountains. You be throwing all the key over there. Oh, used yeah. to, I'm not sure, but it used to have where you could I go in and where. it has statues of them sitting inside the I house. Was, uh, we went to the record memorial. This is the... Oh, wow. This is exactly how I feel. Oh, justice. Until justice rolls. See, I can't see everything right here. Can't see the, the other side of the fountain. Wow. This is beautiful. Okay. I don't know. She said she said go over to the house. She said go over to the house because somebody was in here. Yeah. I think the lady that we just seen, please do not sit. Uh, she could see the house. I don't know if we're supposed to. Kristen, you want to try it? Try the doorknob? Oh, is there oh. people in there? For oh, real? yeah. <laughs> oh, that scared me. <laughs> wow. I, I thought there were statues. Oh. come <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> Good afternoon. 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 Good Good she was like, what you tell But now you see why. The lady was like, whoop, yeah. Yeah, because I said, I was speaking to him. There we go. That's why I think when we keep it before we come in here, do not be alarmed. There are many things in home. So this would have been the boys' bedroom. This, the second bedroom would have been the daughter's bedroom. If we go down the hallway, you'll see that there was a reason why. So y'all don't walk up and y'all don't get it. Yeah, you can see where you're going. Um, there's a bathroom, there's a kitchen, the back area you'll see is the back porch. We have a window in, but it typically would have just been uh, screened in. And then, of course, we have the open kitchen, a large kitchen. This was a shotgun style home, and it's this shotgun style home is larger than most of shotgun style homes because they have an indoor bathroom and indoor kitchen. Oh, that is a big staff room. 
Whoa. Oh, yeah. Oh, On the path of the weeds, sis. That's the first one. This is the kitchen. Paddington. Oh, yeah. When he. This is the daughter's home. Oh, wow. And then that was the back porch. Oh, you see the iron in the washboard? Wow. Iron and washboard. Don't they have the warm See them standing in the house? Wow. Because they antique now. Now the wood that you see on the walls would have been bead board, but we have slab wood because we tried to re replicate bead board, which is a cheap decorative wood at that time, but it was not easy to replicate. So the bead board, what was that? Was that yeah. that rough looking stuff? 